Hey, what up you guys? I wanted to share with you this binder metal swap that I created and I made the front a shaker. Not using any sewing machine or fuse tool or anything like that. I just used some tool sequence and cardstock hot glue gun. And I'm also going to be sharing with you how I package everything up towards the end of the video. So this is how it turned out. Super cute, you guys. Uh -huh. I love it so much. So the shaker, I just used some tool and like I said, some cardstock and glue. Uh, it it was pretty simple. I just folded the the tool towards the back. I didn't want to add too much sequence because I every time I tend to do that, I feel like it doesn't really shake. So and then this little ornament there in the center is a fairy that my my mother in law gave me a pack. It came like five inside. I put some glitter on there. I put a uh, gold cardstock and then the regular cardstock that I had glued down the tool behind and then I just put this happy holiday sign on there and then that pink trim around is from Dollar Tree no it's not sorry Michaels and then I made a little cluster here with a flower swan and um, feathers leaves and bling and then the trim here that ruffle trim the famous ruffle trim from Hobby Lobby that I never got my hands on but my mom did so she shared and some sequence trim as well and look guys super duper chunky monkey i love it so cute the binder is from dollar tree and the color was perfect i didn't have to cover it completely which turned out really 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 nice and i just love the way it turned out what do you guys think let me know so let's open this up and see what's inside okay so i did back it um with the paper from the collection and this is like the Michaels uh, hot buy paper pad and I put some ruffle trim a bling and that super cute swan sticker that my mom gave me a whole bunch of from the 99 cent store did a quick little back top on the first stickers there you'll see just a second there you go better look of the swans and then I made some rosettes using this um, Oh wait, this trim and the, the sequence trim, it was left over from what I used. And then these here are the ballerina stickers from Michaels. I backed it on some rosettes. I used, uh, you know, pom-poms, stickers, sequence, the little glitter balls, the feathers, super cute. And then here I made some mason jars and with my mom's EK tool punch. I used some leaves uh, that I punched out using one of her punches, some flowers, and paper from the collection along with some gold glitter paper as well. Then I made some flags using scraps and these are toothpicks and also straws with some jingle bells at the bottom of that. I added some tools, some glittery balls, and all of that. Turned out super cute. I made this banner here, like these two banners. And then on the top here, it was like a, like a leftover punch on my desk. So I just placed it there real quick. She can take it out and use it. And then this banner, I used the Dollar Tree wood stickers. The Santa Claus I fussy cut. When I put a pom-pom at the end of his hat. And then a jingle bell. And then here, guys, these are beautiful embellishments i created if you follow me on instagram you probably saw when i created these like <laughs> two months ago and i used this gold but no i used the white ones because all i had was um two gold and two white i believe and i used this white thing i don't know i got it from my local party center i used the snowflake i think it's a deal gave me the big giant snowflakes they came in a pack of five um a, a, a rosette the swan stickers from dollar tree the little black not dollar tree michaels and then the little one with the black beak that one is from hobby lobby and i just absolutely love love the way it came out and i also use some of the snowflakes and it makes sense just now but anyway uh i i have a tim holtz die so i uh gave her some plain rosettes she could decorate herself and then these snowflakes are from dollar tree the wood ones i painted i put crepe paper tool the punch everything you guys so just added added and then i made some more rosettes and these i had made i didn't use my um thingamajig my tim holtz because it's at my mama duke's house and then i used some glitter to edge the centers also that snowflake um the snowflake little glitter i added on the christmas tree super cute you guys and i added some tool as well did i say that and she can pull these off if she like. And then here, just added some trim in the in the star. Some bling stickers. Six by six double-sided paper. That's the paper collection I used. I used both of them from Dollar Tree. 
I mean, why do I keep saying Dollar Tree? I think I miss it so much. And then made a quick little bag topper. And then these stickers are from the Target Dollar Spot. I had to cut it so it could fit. So this is how the binder turned out. Super cute. The next thing I'm going to share with you is this memory decks card. This is a 5x4 memory decks card. I wanted to make it this big because I wanted to make sure I fit all the snowflakes uh, that I wanted. If I made it too small, it wasn't going to fit. And then this tassel was from my last binder mill swap and from Sydney. Thank you so much. And turned out so cute. I added all these snowflakes from Dollar Tree. This gold one is from mm, Walmart. I added some leaves. That flower was from Sydney as well. I fussy cut him out. Well, no, that's that deer punch is from my mom. My mom has that punch. And then I fussy cut out um, Santa Claus. I outlined him actually in gold as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. I added a gold, a gold glitter. Oh my gosh. Gold bell and a little pom-pom. And then this little like a banner piece. I got that idea to like, you know, use your bone folder from Eileen Mack. So thank you so much. I'm sorry. Not Eileen Mack. Eileen Payne. Oh, I apologize. And then a little cluster there. I did this voiceover, you guys, like five times. I can't anymore. <laughs> and this is all the layerings. I, th I think this turned out super cute. I was really admiring it um, when it was on my desk. And I kept adding stuff to it as well. These little, like, banner strips are from the paper collection. And I didn't know what to do with them, so I just added them there. <laughs> added my information on the back. And that's how it turned out. Super cute. I also created two reefs using all Dollar Tree items, which is uh, the shower rings, the um, ribbon, and like that tassel garland thing. I just packaged it up in there. And then these, you guys, I forget the name of the dye this is, but I should have used some water and spritzed it. Um, these, these, these are beautiful. But anywho. They were a little tedious to do, and I'm still learning they are not perfect at all. And I wanted to make packaging, like, you know how Prima has their flower packaging? I wanted to be like them and try to create it. I should have taken down my cameo silhouette and played around with it, but that's just a mission because I don't have a desk or anything to put it on yet. Um, but that's fine. Hubby will be purchasing... Actually, he did it already yesterday in my birthday. It's on April 2nd, you guys, and he's going to be getting me my little table thing from Michael's and... I'm so excited so I could put my printer and I could put my cameo and I could start crafting away. So this is how the box turned out. Super cute. Simple. Super simple. I just added whatever I had left. Scraps. And all that can be removed. She could use it all. Um, maybe not the paper, but like the snowflakes, the bowls, everything else. Um, I just used a little bit of glue and stuck it on there. And then I'm just going to add two sheets of uh, tissue paper. Sorry for my hand in the way. And I used um, two pink ones. This tissue, actually, I got from Family Dollar. And because all I needed was pink. And sometimes when you go to Dollar Tree, <clears throat> excuse me, when you go to Dollar Tree, sometimes, you know, they never just have just pink. They have, like, multicolor. And I just want it pink. So, and then these balls, these glittery balls um, are from Dollar Tree. And then the confetti is from Target. I'm going to sprinkle a little of just the confetti and some cr pink crinkle paper. Now, the next clip you see, um, I had to slow it down a bit because I don't know what happened. And anyway, I package up the binder in um, some clear paper and ribbon and added that cute C heart shape. Heart shape. C ornament from Dollar Tree. Gave her some candy. Um, in that little baggie, I have a little glass cup. I got this winnings from Rose Love um, Beauty Boss planner, and I never really opened up or used it. And I was looking at my stash. I'm like, oh my goodness, let me just gift this to her. I could pass it along to someone else that will uh, use it. Added some crinkles. So the glass, I bought a really cute glass from Michael, a Christmas glass. And then this is like a bath bomb thing from the target dollar spot putting that in there some tissues uh and a unicorn it was pink i had to get it and then it's this these socks says friends give friends socks or something and then the um reefs and the flowers because it didn't fit into the binder so i had to put it off to the side and then this is the what is this called um memory dex card as some crinkle paper and some confetti inside as well and then i'm going to add some balls on the top of it 
and I think I was looking for some gold ones. There we go. I was running low on the gold ones. And I just love the way this turned out, you guys. I had a lot of fun creating this. It did take some time um, because, you know, life happens and all of that. So I'm going to add some tissue on the top. And this is for, I always forget her Instagram name, Cra Crafty Minty Charlie. Oh. I'm so sorry. But um, she's an awesome crafter as well. I added some ornaments there and I added um, the rest. I even some added some jingle bells in there as well. I tried to get everything out of this box. It was I wind up getting everything out, but uh, it was giving me a hard time. And that's it, you guys. And this card was from Eileen Mack. She gifted that to me. So I uh, wrote my little note and that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll check you guys on my next one. Bye.